back to the win. I would, I would like to have your your thoughts on the, the stoppage. Do you, do you think it was a fair stoppage? I think it was fair, you know. Fight's a fight. It is what it is, you know. I done what I had to do and the ref jumped in, you know. If it was me in that situation, it would have been the same thing. So, the fight's a fight. Did, did you feel the, your, your head clash with his head? Didn't feel no head at all, you know. If I did head him, he went down straight away, but he carried on. So, like I said, fight's a fight. Are you, are you afraid of maybe the, the, the commission overturning this later? Say that again, sorry? Are you afraid that this, the, the Brazilian commission might over, overturn the result later to an old contest or something like that? No, no, not at all. I'm very, very happy, you know. Um, I do what I do best, put people out. Yeah, it feels great, you know. I work hard to be here. People that know me know my struggle to be here, and I work hard to be here. It feels great. And obviously, that for my debut, to finish that quicker was always even more great, you know. A bit of history for myself. Same, more finishes. More finishes from the dentist. You mentioned your struggles to be here. What's happened to you? Um, you want to know one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, a couple of days ago, on the 16th, my son was two years old. So, two years ago from today, um, I left my missus in labor to come and fight. She was pregnant. Yeah. And um, I left her there, went to go fight, won my fight. <clears throat> my son turned upside down. So, I went back to the hospital, and then I was back in town to see him being born. So, I don't know any other fighter who's done that, you know what I mean? So, and it was hard. I didn't sleep for 30 hours, didn't eat nothing. I think I had one banana. One banana, but then the whole experience, you know, we, up, to the, up to that fight, we kept saying, you know, baby's not gonna come yet, baby's not gonna come yet. It's not gonna come on the fight day, it's not gonna happen. And then, the day before the fight, the weigh-in, nothing, nothing happened. And then I remember on the day before the fight, about 11 o'clock, she woke me up, said I'm in labor. I said, no, 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 I'm fighting tomorrow, no. I run to the car, I run to the car, got the car, took her there. And at the same time, being there for her, I was thinking I have to go and fight, I have to go and fight. So I called her friend, I said, you gotta come down here and take my place, I need to go and fight. And my missus screaming, screaming, screaming. I said, you know, you need to come down here. So her friend came down, took my place. I said, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. My son will understand. I went, fought, made it back in time because she would kill me. <laughs> and yeah, so I don't know, if you could tell me any fighter that's done that, please do, but. That was your first fight? No, my second profile. Okay. Second profile, yeah, second profile. So now he's two. Now he's two, yeah. So I missed his, well, I didn't miss his birth, but I was fighting his birth. Um, I was booked to go to Valencia for his second birthday, but then UFC calls and said, oh, forget Valencia, I'm coming to UFC. And um, he's there now in Valencia having a nice holiday. So I'll make it up to him when I get back. Yeah. Did this give you an extra motivation to come here and get a win? Of course, of course. I couldn't, I couldn't, you know. Like I said, the history I just told you, um, Missed his second birthday, travel 11 and a half hours to get here. Like I can't. I have to. I have to. I have to win. I had to win. You know, it was a must. How was his today? Sorry. The 16th. Just gone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, was this, this was your your first experience of fighting outside of the, the UK? How, how how was it with the long flight and everything? Um, wasn't the first experience fighting UK. I came from a tag. Oh, in MMA. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, but I come from a taekwondo background. So I fought in Taekwondo World Cup, I fought in Italy, I fought in Croatia. So I'm used to the traveling, but um, like you said, the traveling here, nothing like that. Like the hours here is nothing, nothing like it, man. It, it's crazy, but I got through it, you know? I got through it, and I, I love this place. Brazil's a great place, and I, I know they're booing me and all that stuff, but when the man translated and said so-and-so, they start cheering for me. So it's a complicated crowd, Brazil, complicated crowd. <laughs> but you Yeah, yeah, long time. I'm, I'm, used to it. I've had it before. Like I said, when I did Taekwondo, like, Italians don't like the English. So when I was going over there with the England team, we was getting booed all the time. So it's nothing. Day, yeah, right? just another day in the office. Yeah. Clearly you didn't get hurt. You keep fine. Do you have an idea of where you want to go back? Do you want to get back out there quick? Always, always. Always want to get back out there quick. I mean, this is what I do. You know, it's my job. You got a, a quick finish in, in your, your first UFC fight. Is there someone that you that you'd like to attach yourself against? Um, at the moment, I'm not too sure because I'm still debating which category I need to go in, um, you know. So at the moment, no. Just enjoying it. Right now, I'm enjoying the win. I ain't fought that far yet. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not always uh, like heavyweight? 
Oh yeah, I have been always like heavyweight, but in England got away with it. But like I said, these Brazilians and Americans, they're all big, they're massive. You know, people look at me and say, "Hey, you're 185." I said, "No, I'm not. I'm 205." I said, "What do you mean 205?" I said, "Look at my legs. Look. That's, that's why. That's why I'm 205. You know, so." <laughs> No, 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 no. Even in Taekwondo, I was heavyweight. But the heavyweight in Taekwondo was like plus 75. So like, I was looking at 90, like heavyweight plus 75. So it's a bit different Taekwondo, yeah. Do you think about going to 185 now? I thought about it a lot, you know. Everyone keeps telling me I have to do it. So, And I'm ready. Before, I was kind of scared because I didn't know what to do, like nutrition wise. But nutrition is key. And once you know your nutrition, what to eat, you can make any weight. How much do you weigh in our camp? Um, always ready. So 96, yeah, 96, maximum 97, but normally 96. Yeah. Like so I said, like I came to. Kilos to, to drop to 185. Yeah, but that's that's that's. If I'm going to if I'm going to 185, I wouldn't be that. Okay. Gradually, gradually, gradually going down. Like I said, like I made this weight without no sauna. I made this weight without no um, salt bar, and I was eating like a pig, you know. So some. Sorry? When did you know you were fighting? Uh, about, about a month ago. Yeah, about a month ago, yeah. So, a month and a bit ago. So, But like I said, like, if you know your nutrition when you're eating, right, you're always ready. You know, you can get called up tomorrow. You know, I don't want to get called up and say, okay, I have to wake up. You know, people see it as a diet. I see it as a lifestyle. That's the difference. But at 2 o'clock, you can take a fight on a week notice. It was like three kilos to Some sort of gap, yeah. yeah, some sort of gap, yeah. I mean, obviously, I know I'm always ready, but a week notice, nah, yeah. nah, I won't go that far, but yeah, I'm always ready. 